Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my playlist and in this video we are going to talk about Swell.js component with the slots. I mean this term was familiar to me I was when I was doing with the Vue.js there also this concept exists. You might have you, you might haven't heard about this term in React or Angular world but this con concept really exists. Okay in Angular we have a projection in the React also we can use a prop children's. So let's talk about it. So one way to create a reusable component by passing children and children element or component to the parents like UI library like we use react a lot angular a lot there what we do is we pass uh, the different props and with the different props you can actually change the behavior of the component a simple button component by passing the or a simple input text field by passing the type by passing the input type control type uh, you can change the behavior it, it can be input type text input type email input type date input type range so you can change the behavior of the component by passing the props so when it comes to the slots we are using when it comes to the swell yes we are using slots we can use Svelte slots to create component that accepts and render any children this way we will be able to create component that can be used multiple times in our application okay so I will give you a simple example to understand this concept. Okay, you created a reusable component uh, like model pop-up in React. Okay, and you were able to change the, the data. You were able to change the children of that model pop-up. So you can use that model pop-up n number of places by just replacing the body of the model pop-up. Right, that is the one way of doing it. So same thing. What we are doing is we are designing this model pop-up in the Svelte JS in such a way that this, this component start accepting the children's and you can change the content of the model pop-up with the slots. It's just like the same concepts but in just a different way. Okay, to understand this, we'll just create a simple box component and I will try to explain what it is. Or inside this, we can create a box dot svelte so let's say do class and we do have one box class and it is saying okay this is slot okay and if you want you can you can say that this box should look something like should have a width of 300 pixel you can add a border a little bit one pixel solid and then margin and padding that's it a simple box let's say okay so what this lot will do what is the role of this now you created a box as a component i will start using this box component in my app component so here I can import box from box dot svelte a very simple example to just explain the illustration what I'm going to talk about so this is the box component what we generally do simply okay this is the box component right we are not passing any children but we can pass this component children and we can pass anything which we wanted to render inside it inside box or whatever inside pics All right so what we are doing is this box is a component which is allowing you to pass the children and it is rendering those children using these slots you are able to pass you are able to render the content of this, this box component inside this box.12 because it is allowing you through the concept of slots, right? So there are different ways of using a slot, like you can simply create a box. So the simple concept is you create a model pop-up. Okay, model pop-up can be used anywhere. And the body of the model pop-up, like you have, okay, here I have header of the model header. Maybe let's say you create a component model header then you have a model footer these kind of components you have and what you want is you wanted to change the body 
of that so what you are doing slots so you are allowing this box or the model component to pass the dynamically dynamic content a dynamic body so there is a confirmation model pop-up I can just render the yes no button if there is a form I can render the HTML or Svelte JS form here I can render a simple message here right so this is how it works we can also provide a slot fallback okay if you are not passing anything I will re remove this because we are not we don't have these components we can just pass a fallback fallback means if you are not passing anything then this is a fallback and you see fallback is not coming up because we are passing this props here or but if we pass it we are not passing the children then this will be the fallback content it is going to show because there is no props there is no children you are passing so i will just use the fallback logic okay we'll change it we are passing them so that was a slot fallbacks now we can also use uh, named slots when i say named slot means in the box model you can just pass the properties so the slot name and here it is subtitle so these slots are with uh, different properties different these are not named slots right what we are doing is we are passing the name property and uh, here we are composing this box component with the different slots so how we are going to do this let's see how we can use it in the app component so we already have this box component now let's say uh, we have like let's say items and we wanted to render them and that item just have simple array I can just pass this we don't need to wait writing that so this is the items and now here what we will do is we will iterate onto the items so each do we have content we have content and this is subtitle so it is sub dash title so now it should be able to render and now now you can see these are two box components and these are the named slots because here we are using title date and subtitle and their respective slots will render it inside the box component so this should be able to render the slot content you are passing with the name title with the name date with the name subtitle so the, this is rendering three different slots it is giving us liberty that we can pass multiple dynamic content targeting to particular slots because there can be a slot which is talking about okay a header model header or box header box footer box body so we can dynamically set okay box header should look like this which we are passing it can be any kind of data which we are passing from the parent component it we are targeting the slot and we are sending the children data like this so these are called a named slots and uh, the plain slots we talked about we can also conditionally display the slots okay and conditionally you can also style the slots so let's take a look on that example okay so another interesting things we can do with the slots is we can pass the child data to the parent component via slots when we hear this term it looks strange but this is also possible what we are doing is so box is a child component here right so what i will do is let's say i have the data let names okay this is the data hello one hello two so this is the data and i wanted to pass this data to the parent component so what I will do is I, I can create a slot names pointing to the names slot names okay so here we are passing names and now in the parent component I will go to the app component this is app component and here 
we are getting the names right so we can i we can use it uh, we are using a new slot here so that will be simple contact let names and we have to follow the names and now this names is received at the parent layer we can iterate onto this names which is an array each names as a name right and you can render it in some better way let's say li right now every box component you can see has these three labels hello one two three where this is coming from this is coming from our box component here i have some data in the child component i am passing that as a slot as a props in the slot right and my parent component here i can just pass this directive let the the property which we are receiving and here we will have that property inside this component and inside this component you can do whatever you want with that array objects or a boolean variable which we are getting here okay just another use case so this is all about slot in the comp in the applications you can use slots at n number of different places to build your reusable components model pop-up the tab content the accordions and all